I am so honored that I get to bring to the stage at this time, oh my gosh, she is the wonderful, the one and only Jody Benson. Hello, hello Heather, how are you? I am so, um, I, I am overwhelmed and this is so <laughs> exciting, Jody. I, She's speechless. I am. I've been looking forward to this moment for a long time oh, and you're so I, sweet. I'm so excited to be well, here thank with you. you. Okay, let's, this is always fun, me getting in a director's chair. <laughs> I, I have a tendency to fall out of chairs. It's like very uncoordinated. Okay, I'm in, I'm in. Well, it's wonderful to see everybody. Thank Lovely. You. Thank you so much for, for being here for our very first show in, in Ohio. Yeah, this is super fun. This is very relaxing. The table has been so crazy today. This is the first chance I've had to sit down. So I'm going to just sit back and relax and enjoy this time with all of you. This is great. Absolutely. So uh, like we were talking backstage, I'll ask a few questions. And this is a Q&A. So whatever questions you guys are going to have for Jody, oh, yeah, we, have we do have a microphone. So We uh, have a microphone over here. Not on this side, though, right? I see it right over yonder. Okay, microphone's over there. Yes. Awesome. So uh, to start things off, I wanted to ask you, uh, there is a song that I'm obsessed with. It is called Disneyland from oh. the musical Smile. Yes. Because you did start off as uh, on stage. And yeah. you, you've done multiple like Broadway productions. I wanted to ask you a little bit about the song Disneyland? Oh, that's a very good question. So um, I don't know if anybody has heard the song before, but it's a it's from a Broadway show called Smile with Howard Ashman and Marvin Hamlish. I was part of the production from start to finish in almost four years, I think, uh, by the time we did the uh, backers auditions and all the fundraising that we did the uh, pre-Broadway tryout in Baltimore and then on Broadway, and the show tragically closed within like a six-week period. It was really devastating to all of us. And um, my character of Doria Hudson, they had written this song called Disneyland. So while we were doing the show, Howard started working on The Little Mermaid. So all of the executives came to see the show before it closed and uh, heard me sing Disneyland, came to my dressing room, we visited and chatted, it was lovely. So I thought, oh well, that was such a great song, and uh, here we go, we're done with this magical, magical experience. And, um, and I think Howard just felt so sorry for all of us that we had lost our jobs. And so after the show closed, he invited a handful of us to audition for The Little Mermaid. But again, it was something just to do on the way to the unemployment office. I mean, it was not that we were going to get the job. And so I had, you know, we had been given a little bit of script. We had been given a cassette tape of Howard singing Part of Your World with Alan playing the piano. And so I went into the audition just thinking, well, I've got something to do today. This is great. And um, laid down what I kind of thought she would sound like. I ran to the ladies' room, made sure no one was under the stalls looking <laughs> underneath her, and started to talk to the mirror and come up with what I think Ariel would sound like. And uh, ran back in. Back in the day, it was a reel-to-reel -reel with you press play and record at the same time. And... I just laid down what I thought she might sound like. And I thought, well, that was great. And a year later, I got a call. I actually got a page. I had a pager back then and a roll of quarters with something called a payphone. I don't know if anybody knows what that is. And um, so I got a page from my agent to say to call. So I did. And she said, you got it. You got Ariel. And I was like, what is an aerial? What is an aerial? A whole year had gone by. So to come full circle, to be able to record this beautiful song called Disneyland, and they be part of the Disney family now for 36 years is, is really unbelievable. It's so serendipitous. And what an absolutely cool story going from singing Disneyland to becoming a, a Disney princess. <laughs> I mean, and not only Disney princess, Disney legend. And I wanted to know, yeah, that, that deserves. <laughs> Very sweet of you. Thank you so much. What does it personally mean to you, Jody, to be a Disney legend? You know, it's interesting, Heather, because when I, <laughs> the, I, it's kind of a, a funny story. I feel like every story that I end up sharing is always just 
different, unique. <laughs> it's not part of the regular journey, it seems like. So um, right before I got the call about the Disney legend um, induction is when we were doing what we call a refreshing, a season of refreshing at Disney Character Voices, which means a season when maybe people aren't able to recreate their voice anymore, maybe there has been a, a job transition within the company, and so they generally do a refreshing on our princesses, especially Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, and Cinderella. So it's really common. And so we were in a season of refreshing, and I thought, I've been with the company a long time now. I wonder if it's gonna be my turn. Not that I couldn't continue to create Ariel's voice, which I can to this day, thankfully, but it is something that's normal. So the call came one day during this particular season, and it was my boss's uh, <laughs> office manager calling saying, please hold for Chris Montan. I was like, oh, here we go, all right. It's okay. It's all good. So he comes on the phone and I say, listen, Chris, it's been an amazing journey and an incredible ride. And I'm so grateful and so thankful. And so I'm good. And he's like, what? He goes, wait, Jody, I'm calling to ask you if you can come to Los Angeles, to Anaheim, actually, in August, we would like to induct you as a Disney legend. And I dropped the phone on the ground. So I can hear him going, hello, hello. And I pick up the phone. I'm like, what? And he repeats it. He's like, well, what were you thinking? And I said, well, I thought you were letting me go. I thought, I thought this was the call to say, thank you for your years of service, but we are doing a refreshing. And he goes, no. And, I, and then the next thing out of my mouth was, you know, again, just very inappropriate. But I was like, I thought you had to be dead to get this award. And he's like, <laughs> he's like no, you and your, uh, you know, friends are very much alive. And so is that a yes? And I was like, yes, it's a yes. So honestly, I, I don't know how the heck I got a Disney Legend Award. I still don't because I have bosses that I've worked with for 36 years who have not received the award, which is why it was so important to me when I was inducted that I was able to say thank you because it's, it takes a group effort. You know, it's, it's all of us working together to make these projects happen. So, yeah, I'm, I'm honored. I, I still, um, it, I'm blown away, you know, that I'm part of that family because it's, it's a pretty special group of people. For sure. Well, I think you're the embodiment of what every Disney princess and Disney legend should be. So, no, of course, of course. Thank you. Gosh, I'm just going to hang out with all you people. You make me feel great. <laughs> so I'll ask one more, and then we'll go to the audience. I wanted to know about uh, your new book, Part oh, of My World. I know. Isn't that crazy? I have a book. That's so scary. When I say it out loud, it just feels so weird when I say it. But I never wanted to write a book in a million years. Never. I mean, ever. And the publisher came to me uh, in February of 2020, before the world shut down, and I said, absolutely not. That is never happening. And then they called back, and I said no, and they called back, and I said no, and like the fourth time, they said, listen, what if it's not an autobiography or a memoir, but it's a collection of stories where you get to shine the light on other people to say thank you? I was like, okay. I think I could live with that, but I don't want to do this whole memoir tell-all thing. That just sounds ridiculous. And just felt very cheesy for me. You know, it just didn't match who I am. But shining the light on other people, so I ended up, I think, sharing. And it's an audio form, so what I did was it's not pen to paper. It's just me speaking into a microphone and recording device, sharing about 60 stories, and then we whittled it down to about 24. And it was an opportunity for me to shine the light on other people and be able to say thank you. And that has been great. It's a love letter to Disney. It's a huge thank you of, of honor, respect um, to my dear friend Howard Ashman and to Alan Menken and just to the people in my journey, you know, along the way that I get to say thank you. But it still is very weird when 
people ask me, you know, tell me about your book. And I, I don't know, it just still, I'm still not quite comfortable with it. It's out there now. And um, yeah, so anyways, it was fun to get to, to reminisce. And there are stories about Howard that no one knows. And it was my friend Susan Egan who actually really encouraged me. She's like, you know, Jody, if you don't share these stories, especially the ones about Howard, they're going to be lost forever. And that really made an impact when she said that to me. And I thought, you know what, I, th this is good. So now it's, it's in paper, it's, in, you know, it's written down. Long after I'm gone, people will know how amazing Howard was and uh, that his legacy will live on. Was there a particular memory that when you were putting these ideas together that stuck out to you first, that jumped out to you first? I think the stories about Howard in the recording studio and how we came up with um, Part of Your World and just how we came to, to find Ariel and bring her to life, um, I think those stories are really special to me. Very cool. Yeah. So we do have a microphone for whatever questions you guys have for Jody. Do now we have any people? We have oh, nobody sure we at will. the microphone. You, usually they don't line up till we. Uh, <gasps> oh, yeah. okay. You can line up. <laughs> yeah, go good. for it. It's all good. And we got our first hey, question. Friend. What's your name? Hi. Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> my name is Katie. Um, I first of all just wanted to say thank you very much. You made my childhood. Um, and you formed like the way I learned to sing and everything like that. Awesome. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Um, I remember you on the little VHS when you like talked to the goldfish. Before That's right, Phil and Gil. The original right. Little Mermaid. Um, but I wanted to ask um, what if you have had any involvement with the new live action that's coming out and what you think about it. Well, first of all, we're very excited about the film coming out in May. It's gonna be absolutely breathtaking. You're gonna be blown away by the special effects and to be able to really go underwater in a very unique and different way that we've never seen before mm -hmm. in a film is gonna be really exciting. And so, yeah, so I've been involved with press and publicity for the last 18 months. And uh, we're just really excited. Our cast is unbelievable. And um, just so very, very proud. The director, Robbie Marshall, and the producer, um, Robbie, and uh, it, it, they're just incredible. Robbie and I have been friends for over 40 years. So I love that he has uh, paid tribute to the original in the way that he's telling this story and the way that Alan has joined up with Lin-Manuel. But again, it's, it's just going to be absolutely breathtaking. Oh, yeah. So I'm so excited. Very excited. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Great question. What's your name? Hello, I'm Kate. Um, my question would primarily be, uh, what was the hardest part going from singing primarily live to recording? Yeah, that, is a, that was a very difficult process for me. Um, my daughter in love, Mackenzie, just uncovered my one of my recording sessions with Howard, and I think she shared it on TikTok. I don't do TikTok, uh, but she shared it on TikTok, and um, I hadn't seen it. I, I, I had not seen it in its entirety until recently, and it was just so beautiful to watch the process between Howard translating everything to me, and it was a huge transition for me to go from filling a, you know, 1500 seat theater, singing live and projecting without a microphone to then going behind a microphone and barely singing. So having to learn how to not sing was, was a huge thing for me. And um, it was fun to watch that video. It brought back a lot of memories, a lot of wonderful memories. But it was very frustrating for me initially um, in trying to make that change after all those years of, of singing and performing in a certain way. Um, but I loved the challenge. And so to have Howard standing to my left for all of the film was, was such a gift. Thank you. What's your name? 
Hi, I'm Shannon. Um, this is actually like a really big deal because my first cat was named Ariel because it was the only way my mom could get me to do anything was to put the Little Mermaid movie on when I was little and then I would do whatever she asked. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I was wondering, what was it like to come back and film the short scene you had in Wreck-It Ralph 2? Oh yeah, that was so much fun. So Wreck-It Ralph was really, really a fun project. We worked uh, individually. We were all by ourselves in the studio. But to have our director and our producers there creating the project. And it was, it was that interesting kind of fine line where you have these characters that are so well established. And people have connections with these characters and these films. So we had to find a way to keep them genuine, real, authentic, and vulnerable within their setting without making fun of them or mocking them. So it was a real fine line um, that I think the team perfected. They found the humor in it, but the essence of who we are is very real. You know, I love when Ariel sings about her shirt, and she's just, I mean, it was so funny that they came up with this. But again, it, in true Ariel form, I had to make sure that what I was saying and what I was singing was very real and grounded, but it's just hysterical to have all the princesses together. I just thought that was a brilliant idea. And it was risky for the studio to take that leap with these classic characters that people are very connected to. Mm -hmm. So that was the first rule of thumb is we can't mock them we can't laugh at them, and we can't make fun of them. But we can find a way to invest in the humor. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, my name's Melissa. Um, I was just wondering, what was your favorite song from The Little Mermaid? What do you think? Part of your world, <laughs> which is my favorite, too. <laughs> That's right, absolutely. Thank you. Can, as a follow-up question, how about a favorite song that you didn't get to sing? Ooh. In, in um, our movie, I love Kiss the Girl. I love all the harmonies. I love um, the kissy fish. I love, I would have loved to have been a kissy fish. They're just the cutest thing. Uh, so yeah, I love that song. Awesome. What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Justice, and I'm a huge Disney fan, so it's really great to meet you. Um, oh, nice to meet you too, th th Thank you. Um, I was wondering, were there any like other Disney films or animated films that kind of motivate, motivated you or inspire you to pursue like voice acting or voiceover work for Disney films? That's a great question. No, I never pursued voiceover. It wasn't something that I was even aware of, to be honest with you. Um, I'm a Broadway girl through and through, so musical <laughs> theater was really my love and my passion ever since I was eight years old. And I didn't know the first thing about being behind a microphone. so. Like I said, it was just Howard inviting a handful of us to audition, and I just thought it was just for the learning experience. I, I would have never guessed in a million years that it would have been cast in something that, a genre that I've never done. And you know, you're gonna take somebody like me that doesn't know what the heck she's doing and stick her in a studio. <laughs> Sounded like a disaster to me, but uh, boy, am I grateful. Yeah. Boy, am I grateful. Thank you so much. What's your name? Uh, my name is Tyler. Um, if you were a guest star on Sesame Street, what would you be doing? Oh. Stealing cookies from the Cookie Monster. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. It's a great, I love that. <laughs> I love me some chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Go ahead, what's your name? Audrey, um, so what would you say you and Ariel have in common? Ooh, we have a lot in common. Um, we're both independent. We both have spunky, fiery personalities. We're both curious. We're both slightly rebellious. Um, we both want to fight to get outside of our box, think outside of the box. I think we're both big dreamers. Um, I think we're both very, very tenacious. So even when a door is closed, I, we both will keep knocking on it until it's sealed shut. Thank you. Well, we know she had what gadgets and gizmos aplenty. Do you collect anything? Or no, you... I know. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I work at a Comic Con and I'll do tours and I don't collect autographs. I don't collect anything. Um, but I have a lovely, special aerial things around our home. 
uh, that have been given to me um, just with different experiences and different people along my journey that, that are really near and dear to me. Anything uh, created by Paige O'Hara? Oh, yes. I have, um, I have both of her, her original paintings that she did on our metal anniversary box, our video box, our Blu-ray, I think it's called now. It's not a V. No, it's not a DVD. I think it's called a Blu-ray. So she had created two original pieces of artwork, and I actually own them. So, That's yeah, amazing. very special to have from my dear friend. What's your name? Hi, um, I'm Rachel. Uh, first of all, thank you for starting my crazy obsession with mermaids. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, my question is kind of weird, but with tattoos being such, you know, a craze nowadays, especially Disney tattoos, um, is it ever weird whenever you're like seeing fans at conventions or whatever and you see basically you tattooed on <laughs> someone else's body? <laughs> I do see a lot of tats and they're very fascinating to me. And as long as um, they don't drop their drawers, we're good. <laughs> um, I did have someone stop me, a gentleman at Walt Disney World who stopped me along Main Street and wanted to show me his tattoo that was probably in a place that needed to continue to be covered. <laughs> and so I just kindly said, you know, it's all good. Um, I'm sure it looks amazing, <laughs> but not in the middle of Main Street, <laughs> not ever. Um, you know, so <laughs> it might have been, you know, a little bit on the side of his hip, let's say. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it is fascinating to me, and I've seen all styles, all different types of artwork for her, and uh, it is, it's very fascinating. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? Hi, my name's Lindsay. Um, I have a question, so it's a pleasure meeting you, by the way, because I, from seeing you on the TV screen, from now seeing you in person, it's just amazing, and it's a gift. So my question is, if you had to voice any other Disney princess other than Ariel, who would you voice? Yeah. Well, it's interesting. Um, I really enjoy the character of Anna in Frozen. And then I think, of course, love the singing of Elsa in Frozen. So I think both of those princesses are fun. And I've actually done, you know, the music in concert and things. But I think voicing Anna would be really fun. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good question. What's your name? Hi. Um, my name is Opal Ray, and uh, I'm obsessed with mermaids, obviously. And so I heard you were going to be here, and I kept thinking about singing with you. So uh, I guess my question is, can I sing uh, a song with you? Let me be your wings. I I've been practicing. That's why my voice sounds like this. I totally shot it out. I'm. So, um, yeah, that's fine. I would love to sing Let Me Be Your sing. Wing. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So I, I think maybe like if you after yeah, she it, can meet you at your booth, but legally are we not? Yeah, if you can. Just just like a couple lines like sung together. Yeah. We will have we'll have to figure something out. Yes. We'll have to figure that out. Thank you. So if I say a couple sentences, you'll copyright me? <laughs> Am I getting demonetized right now? No, not at all. That, I think that was a really bold and brave question. Thank you for your question, Opal, okay. and a beautiful name, too. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Adelaide. Hey, Adelaide. How are you? Good. My question is, what was your craziest experience backstage? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> um, the first thing that comes to my mind is when I was 18, I was doing a Broadway review at Opryland Theme Park in Nashville, Tennessee. So it was my first Woo! professional job. And Opryland doesn't exist anymore. I think it's a parking lot for the Opry oh. Hotel. And when it used to be a theme park, I did a live show, five shows a day, with a live orchestra, which was like a Broadway review. And I was standing in the front at the beginning of the show, and the curtain is in front of us in the front line, and the curtain comes up, and it catches my dress of my costume, and it pulls my dress all the way up. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. So when it's all the way up here, and I have on my dance trunks underneath, the stage manager's like, ah, 
and then she just drops the curtain back down again, and we detach, and then we go on with the show. So, yeah. Yep. That was that was quite an experience. A at true 18. professional. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Ben, and I'm wondering: Are there any other actors or voice actors you really enjoy listening to? Or you really enjoy? Ooh, what? I love. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I love all of our Disney films, you know. And what what I love about our films is that you shouldn't be distracted with the person that is doing the voice or the name of the person that's doing the voice. You should get enthralled with the story and the character. And I, I think our company does a very nice job with that. So I, I love all of our princess franchise. I love all of our movies. They're, they're just absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. And I was going to say, I saw a picture of you recently with Tara Strong, yeah. right? Who played your daughter. Yeah, that yeah. was such a cool picture. It was. It was. I hadn't seen Tara since before the world shut down. So we reunited at one of our conventions, and it was just such a wonderful weekend. We got to have lunch together and just catch up. And then the past two events, I was with Paige O'Hara and Linda Lark and my dear friends, and so when we're together as princesses, we have so much fun. We go out to dinner afterwards and just really get to, you know, catch up and visit. We have a little text chain, our little princess text chain that we're actually friends. So it's a blessing. What's your name? Um, hi, Jody. My name is Kim. I just want to say you're amazing, and I've been looking forward to meeting you for so long. I've been obsessed with Ariel since I was little, and my husband actually proposed to me on the Little Mermaid ride, so oh, this is really special. I love that. Me. Oh, that is so <laughs> sweet. Um, That's so my, sweet. My question for you, other than the uh, movie song names, do you have a favorite quote or line from the Little Mermaid? Maybe he's right. Maybe there is something the matter with me. I just don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be bad. I love that line because Ooh. it tells the whole story. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but it, it tells the whole story of Ariel, mm -hmm. how she just doesn't understand why these two worlds can't get along and how she feels like she doesn't belong anywhere. She's kind of in the middle, you know? And I, I love, love that line before the song. It sets it up so perfectly. Thank you. What a cool proposal. That's so great. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. On the attraction. Yeah. That's really cool. What's your I name? My name is Lily. Hi, what's your question? Oh, thank you. What yeah, is thank a you. mermaid tail made of? Ooh. What is a mermaid tail made of? What is it made of? Fin? Yeah, what is fin like made scales? of, though? Like scales, scales? and fin? Yeah. It's got to be some kind of fleshy something-something, right? Do you have any, any insight? Do you know? What do you think? Like, what was it for the show? Oh, oh what was it for the show? Well, for the animators, they, they did a great job of drawing it, didn't they? They did a beautiful yeah. job. And I think uh, Hallie wears a... a, a they all wear, all the people, uh, all the mermaids, mermaids and mermen. Um, they, they have incredible costumes. I got to see all of them. Yeah, really neat. It'll be fun. You'll enjoy the movie. Thank you for your question. What a great question. Sorry, I didn't know the answer. Now we have a lot to think about. We have That's to right. ponder this. Make me think. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Sophie. Um, do you have an, another favorite Disney princess other than Ariel? Oh, I do. Thank you. I grew up with Cinderella, so I love Cinderella. And on Sunday night, I used to watch The Wonderful World of Disney with Walt Disney, and I loved that show so much. So, yes, I grew up with Cinderella. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Great sweet question. Sophie. Hello, oh. Belle. Hello. <laughs> um, oh. That's fine. Oh, yeah, you're question. perfect. So I just wanted to say, it's great to meet you. Uh, nice to meet really you. really inspired me to become a singer. I've joined choir this year. So Wonderful. It, it's, uh, it's been an experience. Wonderful. So, uh, I guess my question is, well, since all these like Little Mermaid questions, what was it like voicing Barbie in Toy Ooh, Story? Barbie was so much fun. So I did not audition for Barbie. I just got the call. Uh, and I was like, ooh, wow, so you want me to be Barbie? And they, I'm like, how do you know I could do what you want? And they said, well, we hear it inside of Ariel. We feel we can figure out where she lives. And I'm like, okay, 
So I went to work and they had a box of Barbies and we just started playing with them and talking and back and forth between the directors and the producer. But the funny thing is, is that the representative, uh, the big head honcho from Mattel had come. Um, you know, it's very interesting that Pixar had invited Barbie to be part of the original Toy Story and Mattel said no that Barbie is an icon. She will never have a voice. We will never give her a voice. And she's not going to be part of an animated feature film. Then they saw the huge box office success of the original <laughs> Toy Story. And all of a sudden, in Toy Story 2, there was Barbie. Isn't that amazing? Um, so I met the recording studio, and we're creating her voice. And the Mattel had honcho. And she's got a business suit on, and she's kind of looking at me and then she calls attention to me and she says, I just want you to understand, this is a very, very momentous moment that's happening here. That Barbie is going to have a voice for the very first time. And I kind of casually, carefully raise my hand and say, excuse me, but I actually did her claymation workout video a couple of years ago. So they did not know that I was the same, that I did give Barbie her first voice in the workout video. But Mattel didn't put two and two together, and I think they forgot about that project. There's some VHS out somewhere called Dance Workout with Barbie, or something like that, uh, that I did. And I've, I don't even think I've ever seen it before, but I've met somebody who's, who has it. <laughs> which I thought it was very funny if somebody brought it up for me to sign. But so I had to tell Mattel that Actually, I did give Barbie her first voice, so would you like it to sound like that, or are we going to go a whole different way? So we kind of blended in the original and then Toy Story 2, and then she returned in Toy Story 3 to save the day. So right. it was lots of fun. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? Um, my name is Katie, and first I want to say um, I am really excited to be here. I'm really excited to meet you, Jody. Uh, Ariel has always been one of my favorite Disney princesses. Thank you. Yeah. But um, I also discovered the Kingdom Hearts games recently and know that Ariel's in there. So what was it like to bring Ariel to life in those games? Yeah, it was great. They're an incredible company to work with, and all the characters for Disney were honored to be part of it. And uh, again, the most important thing is for me to recreate her voice, to be able to create that trigger memory for you so that you remember where you were the first time you saw the film, where you were the first time you saw, heard the song. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun to work with the company. Thank you. Those are the best games. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Nina, and the question that I have is that, will you rather be on the stage or a bus, or a bus actor? Ooh. Oh, that's a great question. Um, you know what, Nina? I actually enjoy whatever I'm doing at the moment. Um, I don't like something more than something else. I enjoy all of it. Anytime that I get to do what I love to do and what I feel like I was created to do, then that brings me tremendous joy. Yeah. Well, thank you. That's a great question, yeah, sweetheart. Very good question. <laughs> What's your name? Hi, I'm Emily. And I wanted to say I love you so much. I've grown up with you. You're my favorite princess. Thank I got your you. autograph um, back at the... And the shirt. Yeah, I oh made the gosh, shirt. Oh, my gosh, how cool. <laughs> Thank you. And um, what was it like being in Enchanted, working with oh, Patrick Oh, it was Dempsey? so much fun. Um, Enchanted was one of those crazy things where our director, Kevin Lima, was an animator on The Little Mermaid, so he thought it would be funny to put these hidden Easter eggs of the three princesses in the movie um, so we had to keep it pretty hush-hush. And mine was really supposed to, I think, maybe have one line and just sort of stand by the fish tank and disappear. But they ended up kind of creating this role for her, and then they gave me another scene with Patrick. But I didn't know I was working with Patrick Dempsey. I, I didn't know who he was, and I never saw Grey's Anatomy. So when, <laughs> so when he walked into the room, I was waiting for Patrick Stewart. And so in walks this guy, and I'm like, that's not Patrick Stewart. And I'm like, who's that? And the director's like, that's Patrick Dempsey. I'm like, I don't know who that is. And so I felt really bad that I didn't know he was. It was super nice, super nice, and we had a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, and then they brought me back to, to do another scene, and 
Yeah, we had a really great time. It was really fun. It was a lot of fun. I didn't know what the heck I was doing, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I had a good time. <laughs> you were great in it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now we need to see the movie with Patrick Stewart. How do we... Yeah, I <laughs> what was I thinking? Right? I love that. <laughs> What's your name? Hey, Jody. Um, it's Dan. So, uh, first of all, it's been a pleasure of meeting you, meeting you yesterday. Thank and, you. Um, I just got to say, for my question, uh, when you and Tara Strong voiced uh, both uh, Melody and Ariel right. in the, the sequel for the, the Little Mermaid, yeah. what was your most favorite part of it? Um, I was actually pregnant with my daughter at the time. I was very pregnant with my daughter. And I think... I have this really fond memory of being in the studio singing with Tara and I didn't know whether I was having a boy or a girl and I already had a, a little boy. Uh, my kids are two and a half years apart. And I just remember singing this song and recording this song and wondering as my child was just jumping and leaping whenever I would sing in the studio, just wondering like, what would it be like if I ever had a little girl? What would that be like? And just had the fondest memory and so much fun working with Tara. She's awesome. just great. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. What's your name? My name is Chloe. And who was your favorite coworker and why? Ooh. That would be hard to choose. I don't think I can pick because I loved working with Pat. I loved working with Ken, my dad. I loved working with Sam, Sebastian, and Jason as Flounder. I, I don't think I can pick between them. If I had to pick somebody, it would be probably working with Howard, you know, as my kind of personal director. Ron and John were our directors, but because I had worked with Howard for so long on the show uh, in New York, they let me kind of work with him one-on-one, -on -one, and I think those are probably my fondest memories is working Thank with you. him. Thank you, sweetie. What's your name? I know. <laughs> Kids are so smart. <laughs> What's Hi. your name? Hi. <laughs> you got this. That you got was this. taking a deep breath. I love it. Uh, Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Sorry, right, clear your throat. Yeah, you got baby, it. Can you do <laughs> I, I can't do this. Oh, no, we're, we're all here with you. Yes, you got you this. Can. Yeah, you can do it. What's the kid in Ariel? Ask that one more time. Why is your character except Ariel? Why is your favorite character Ariel? I, I, actually, what's your favorite character except Ariel? Oh, but except. Except. Oh. except Ariel. Okay, Ariel. gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I can pick that either. I would, I guess I'm probably going to say Barbie. Um, just because the whole experience with both of the films was so much fun and kind of creating her for the first time was, was really fun. And a huge honor, you know, to take such an iconic character and bring it to life. Thank you, sweetie, you did it. That Good was job. a great question, too. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Elizabeth. <laughs> What's your question? What's your question? So cute. <laughs> uh, which, one was, which one did you just settle on? Oh, you wanted to, you wanted to hear her sing. As Ariel, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. If you could do that. All right. How about you stick around for a few more minutes and we'll make that happen for you, okay? Ooh. All I right, baby. A, a follow up to that then. Is there anything you do or practice to get into that voice or into that character? That no, cool. she just kind of lives inside of me, I think. You know, <laughs> it's after 36 years, you, you feel so connected to your characters that it's not. It's kind of like your family, but you're kind of one in the same. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't know. It's just, it's a really special connection with her. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Your children are adorable, <laughs> and they're so bright. <laughs> yes, what's your name? Hi, uh, Hi. my name's Jill. Uh, oh, that's my sister's name. Oh, I love the name Jill. It's that's so amazing. It's so pretty. Uh, it's an honor to see oh, you in front of you. me, which is so it's so cool. Um, thank but you. I, my question might be a little silly, uh, but I've always thought that Ariel had a very unique color palette that she's choosing, and so I wanted to know what your favorite color was. <gasps> oh, my favorite color is turquoise blue. Turquoise blue. Yeah, and it's always been turquoise blue, even before Ariel. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, my name is Violet. Um, what was your favorite part about voicing Ariel? 
Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I think, and, and I voice Ariel weekly, every other week probably, uh, but I sing the song I think every week now. Um, my favorite part, again, I, I don't really think of voicing Ariel. I just feel like she just kind of lives inside of me and she just kind of comes out. And I, I think it's that special connection when you have given life to a character that is solely um, unique, that no one else really understands that whole process except me and, and maybe Howard. It's, um, it's like a little treasure that I get to hold in my heart. And it's always a privilege and an honor to get to share it with others. Yeah. Thank you, honey. Thank you. All right. I think we have time, Jody, for two more questions. Two more questions. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, friends, I'm sorry. Two more questions when we have a long line. Yeah. I don't want to be the one to pick. No, so. it's okay. All well, right. We'll take the sorry. next two. And then the rest of you guys, Jody is going to be at her yeah, booth the rest at my of the table weekend. Yeah, i till 8 o'clock tonight, I think. Yep. And then tomorrow from 10 to 6. Yeah. So whatever yeah. questions we don't get to, yes, you guys can ask that's Jody right. there. What's your name? Uh, I'm Lizzie. Um, I just wanted to know, like, what is your favorite part about Ariel? I think, as I shared earlier, the different qualities that I love about her, but I think my favorite quality about her is that she's tenacious. She never gives up. Um, she's so motivated and doesn't easily shut down, and I love that. She doesn't take no, really, for an answer. You know, I love that about her. Thank right. you, honey. Our final question. What's Our your name? Our final question. <clears throat> I'm Nate. Hi, Nate. How are you? I'm good. Good. So earlier you said you like all the Disney movies. Yeah. Huh. Do you actually have a least favorite Disney movie? Ooh. A least. A least. Um. You know what? I feel like... In between Sleeping Beauty and Cinder, no, between Sleeping Beauty and Mermaid, there was like this season of films that I probably didn't really connect with as much. Um, so it's not like that I liked them any less. I just didn't make a connection probably with them. But I will leave those films unnamed. <laughs> All right. Thank you for Thank your question. You. Thank you. Well, Jody, I, you I absolutely uh, will. Yes, as, and I think it's very important. We should all be drinking water, so learn from the mermaid. Mm -hmm. This has been so much fun. Everyone's questions were absolutely sensational yeah. today. This was so wonderful. Super smart, yeah. aren't they? Um, so thank you so much, thank Heather. Thank you. Oh, You're my so God.